Hey lovelies, it's Cinnamon from the Stiletto series and I wanted to show you all how to create a contact form or any type of form or any situ if you're in a situation where you have to collect data from people then this is an awesome way you can do it with Google Docs and it's completely and totally free so just want to show you how you can use it um, particularly in your business it's going to really help out things so here's Google Docs uh, docs.google.com and you have to have a Gmail account if you don't just register and get one it's completely free of course I already have one so let's go to mine alright so here you're gonna create it's going to ask you what you would like to create. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either start with the spreadsheet or you can start with the actual form. We're going to do the spreadsheet for right now. And I'm just going to type in the fields that are important to me for my contact form. So of course, first name is important. I would like to know the person's email address, but I might want to spell it correctly. Sorry. All right. And let's see, maybe I want to know their website and, of course, their comments. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to first, let me change the name of this to Untitled Spreadsheet to Contact Form. What is that with my type in today? Okay, Contact Form. All right, so now we're going to Insert Form. And I just want to do this really quickly so that we can edit a couple things. Let's say you want the first name to be required. So you are going to make sure that you check that, that this is a required question. Click Done. And of course I want the email to be a required question. And this is basically saying that the form can't be submitted unless the people fill out these fields. Website, not so much. Not everyone has one. Comments, of course, because that's why they came here. So I'm going to, let me scroll down a bit, make that required as well, hit done. Okay, so here are my required fields, love it. Now if you look down here, this shows actually what the web link is to get to this form in cyberspace. Okay, so you can copy this and copy link location. And that is what you can put on your website for your um, form address. But before I move to that, I want to make sure that this is accessible so let me close out of this saving alright so with share this is really important because what Google does which is great um, it's private when you create your form if you want other people to see it you actually have to come to this share button to make sure you make it accessible right now it's just to my people if I wanted to have it open to other individuals um, I can do it by their email address so in the case of when you're collect collecting information from people or they're voting on something and it's just internal um, I have a book club that I love and so we're always kind of voting and asking questions and this is an easy way to do this so um, you can put your email addresses here for this sake because this is a contact form we want to do anyone with the link or you can do pu public on the web either one I'm doing anyone with the link because I'm using the link I have a little um, what is it called an envelope icon on my website and so when someone clicks the envelope it'll take them to this particular link so that's how I work it so I put anyone with a link but you can put public on the web doesn't matter alright and we're gonna save it that's important for your contact form you have to make sure that it's going to be visible for everyone did I click save okay great so that's the way to do it that way here's a little awesome way that Google did as you can see I didn't type this in this is what Google did so you can find out what time the people actually commented so this is also cool because let's say you're doing a contest with your business and the person who comes up with the best answer to do whatever um, and you want to know who the first person is well here's the time stamp so isn't that awesome so that's the contact form let me go back and show you how to do it the other way so if you want to create a form you can do it the same way you just type in your questions here the type of question is it text is it multiple choice are they going to check boxes scale grid all that nonsense um, and then if this is a question that they may need some assistance kind of answering because it's not obvious and you can put that here and then of course you can hit sample 2 and kind of continue to go on 
as I showed you before, if you want to make it a required question and stuff, you can go ahead and click this, edit it, do whatever. So this is the other way to create the form. Both of them work well. As you can see here, you can email this form. You can see the responses, more actions, save it. It's great. The good thing about this is it takes the data that you received. It'll graph it for you and give you all these type of visual charts and stuff if that's what you need to see. For those of you who know Excel, um, you can understand the types of information that Excel gives you in regards to graphs and getting the data. Excel makes me want to go to sleep, so um, it's not really something I want to know, but if I am having people where they're voting on something or they're giving questions or answers and I want to be able to see visually on like a bar graph of who says yes to this question, who says no, then it's an awesome way to look at your data. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and put it in the comment box. And I definitely encourage you to use this uh, in your business and think about some creative ways that you can employ this um, with your customers and your forms and find out how you can get information from them. Contests are really amazing. So think about that. Again, hope it was helpful, and I'll see you all again next time.